Hello, it's XO Ashley Pink, otherwise known as Ashley. And today I am going to do, sorry, my chair is stuck. Here. Sorry, I'm going to do my July 2021 bullet journal setup. I am gonna try to hand draw this. I have an idea of a theme I want to do. I didn't really sketch out um, stuff. I do have, where's my pen? There we go. I have this stuff here. I do kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I am going to incorporate some stickers, mainly because I did invest in a bunch of bullet journal stickers before I decided to change my mind in the middle of June. <laughs> so I will be pulling some stuff. I have these stickers from uh, Purple Panda Planner. Let's see. Um, where is Some. I don't know what I'll use and what I won't. I have these um, from Scribble Stickers Co. These calendars. And then where is... Sorry, I have these tab stickers that I love. I use them all throughout the other planner too. I think they're in this section. Um, I'll pull this. I don't know if I'll use it or not. This is technically a future log. I didn't use it as a future log though. Um, for this is from Aaron Floto, and then this is a mini calendar from CZ Sticker Co. You can use code Ashley um, fifteen. There's A C H L E Y one five to get fifteen percent off. And then these tab stickers. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these calendar ones. I am done, gonna use these. But what I think I might do is just cut off at the top there just enough to like stick it. Um, so I don't have the actual calendar. Cause that's something I ran into in the other calendar. I didn't like the placement of where this was cause I like to have my calendars up high and I can't have them all up high if I'm using it as a tab. So I have those and I'll put these off to the side. I'm also going to be using these zebra mild liners. I'm going with like a neutral rainbowy type theme. I might pull in some Tombos and yeah. I'm kind of in the planner mood. I'm gonna, you know, I have Netflix pulled up, but I think what I'm actually gonna do is go to YouTube Music and listen to some music and jam out while I do this. This is also like July 11th. I'm really behind in my planning. I like stopped planning the first week of July for some reason. Um, and yeah, so I might be sketching stuff out. I have an idea of what I want in this planner. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, anyway, let's get started. Hello, so it turns out that I lost the footage between this last part that you just saw and the part coming up, I apologize for that, but in the final flip through, you will see the cover page that I made and the quote. So, and that's really the only two ones that I think you have missed. So yeah. So we jump right into me adding some doodles to my master task list and habit tracker. I made the executive decision to use my normal master task list don't know how I feel about this font that I used, as well as 12 different habits, reading, journaling, showering, tracking my period, working out, checking in with my Moxie Life Bujo, TSKP, uh, TSKP planner and budget planner, as well as making lunch and drinks for work and posting on Instagram. I decided to go with Polaroid mood tracker because I really wanted to do that, as well as just, you know, a random body stats page because I am trying to lose weight. I added some one sticker a day using my uh, Purple Panda Planner stickers. These are so hard to pull up. I really like how this ended up looking. I am looking at it after I populated the stickers in it. I don't think I added that into this. And 
This goes to show just how hard it is to pull these up. This is three times speed, which is why everything else is like super speedy. But like literally, this is three times speed. <laughs> They're very hard to pull up, but I love them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really think that it is quite adorable. And also a really good way to incorporate my character stickers as well as do like a highlight spread of what I think is important in that day. And I try to link it into whatever is in my one line a day, which this time round I'm actually doing a two line a day, which is the next two pages, which it should flip in a second. So I've looked and I can't find the YouTube video that inspired me to do this, but there was somebody, um, June, 2021, she had a five month old baby or like a newborn. She was talking about newborn or like her first spread since she's been a, new a mom to a newborn. Um, she had an accent that was like Welsh or Scottish. Anybody know that YouTuber? Let me know. <laughs> um, anyway, she wrote two lines a day in her bullet journal. And I thought that would be perfect because I found one line a day wasn't enough sometimes. Um, and I thought that would be perfect for writing just enough stuff to help me remember. Oh, and this is me realizing I forgot to add 22. Like I literally took my calculator out because I counted how many numbers were on one side and how many numbers were on the other because 16 plus 14 didn't seem to equal 31. Um, it equals 30, by the way. <laughs> so I realized I, for I forgot to add 22. And then I almost did it again on another number. I almost skipped. Yeah, when I went to write 28, I almost wrote 29. <laughs> but yeah, um, just I wrote two lines a day. I also wrote the number, the corresponding uh, letter of the day of the week beside it. They're on different sides on each page, but they're beside it. And I know that'll help me figure out what day it is because looking at like the number nine, I won't remember what day it is. It doesn't matter if I have a calendar beside my desk, which I do, <laughs> but yeah. And then also at the bottom, I did like a swiggle instead of a, uh, what's it called? A rainbow. And then I just got into making my weeklies. I kind of wanted it like, at first I was gonna make dailies and then I'm like, you know what? No, I don't wanna have to go back and redo dailies for a full week because I was filming this on the same day that I am editing it, which is Sunday, July 11th. So I made the executive decision to just do weeklies like this Eight, eight, eight at a time and I ended up with a couple pages like one two three four five six seven eight pages and I, that's good I like this it's simple but it has col the colors in it and I can make as many notes as possible right now in July it might not be that that I need that much but I like this style when it comes to um, September and I'm back in school I really think that I will need this. So yeah, um, I'll just leave you to watch the end.
Okay, so I totally just filmed this and then I realized I was rambling the entire time. So I'm going to film it again. I'm going to quickly go over this. This is the first time that I actually did a two page cover like this. I usually do a quote. Well, actually starting in 2020 is when I did the quote. I used to just do um, a calendar page and then this master task list. And then it kind of turned into a quote page with the calendar page. And now it's quote and cover. <laughs> and I added a calendar, but it's mainly the cover page. I really like this. This is the first time I doodled most of the stuff. I didn't use that many stickers and I'm kind of anxious about that, but I really like this. I'm working hard. Um, master task list, events. I usually put to do, I wrote events. And instead of holidays, I usually wrote events, but I didn't want to white it out that much. So um, this is all my bills. I am working. If you saw me pull out when I was filling this in, I have a budget planner that I'm using. So I'm excited for that. And habits. I can't believe that 18 months ago I wasn't doing habits and now I'm, <laughs> I'm doing like 12 habits and this isn't even all of them. I usually also add PR, but I decided to add that into my dailies. I'm kind of doing weeklies. I think in August I might do dailies, but I don't know mood i really wanted to do polaroids again i probably went over this in the voiceover i don't know um and then body stats i'm not really particular about numbers this is literally just so i can write it down and no i'm tracking mainly my weight this is just because i'm also working out but like if tomorrow you were going to ask me hey you said you took your arm measurements what's your bicep measurements because when i say arm and leg i'm bicep and thigh I'd have to look at this to know. I'll be able to remember leg because it's both 29, but I'll be like, well, one was 15 and one was 16, but I don't know which one was which. I'd have to look at this to see L slash R, so right slash left, and I'd have to look at it. My waist measurement, I don't know. <laughs> 50.5, I 50, whatever. Like, I, if you ask me tomorrow, I won't remember because <laughs> I'm not writing this because I'm I'm super tracking and I want my waist arm and legs to go down like I mean I do but I'm tracking working out and eating right eating the way I need to with reactive hypoglycemia so and that might not work for some people but it will work for me I didn't populate this one um because I need to kind of do my two lines a day to remember what I did <laughs> and so I can pick what sticker fits best um for reference Oh, also the, um, this tab ripped off my June tab ripped off. So a trick for that, if you don't want to buy tabs is buy washi tape and, um, you can just use it as a tab. Like this is what I mean. I also have to fill in these three days <laughs> sticker a day. And sometimes I'll write in context. Like I believe here. Yes, I wrote in context and sometimes I don't. So. Um, and then two lines a day. I want to do this to check in. I, I don't know if I'll count it towards journaling or not. I do have a specific journal that I bought to write creative writing down because I love creative writing. It's a great outlet for me, but still, I don't know. But I still want to do two lines a day, write down what I did in a day so that if I don't do my planner in the evening, I can still have an idea of what I did. And then that gets into my weeklies. Um, I didn't really, I just kind of started putting lines in, wasn't sure if I was going to do a daily or not. And then I'm like, no, I'm not doing a daily. So I just kind of went through, um, this isn't in a weekly setup, but I like how it looks. It's simplistic. It's with the theme. And then because, you know, there's not, you know, I there's one left. I put notes. If there was two left. I would have just. I don't know what I would have done because it's a last minute. But yeah, that is my thing. Right now I'm using, I have a to-do thing here and that marks in starting my future log so I can make, do my monthly stuff here. This goes to July. This goes, to, one of my things goes to like my habit trackers. This goes to my two lines a day. And then this goes to my the current week or whatever the day is. So yeah, that is my... January, not January, July bullet journal. If you like this video, please like, share, thumbs up, and all love of blue, and I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.